Stan waits. Now the stretch from the belt. Here's the pitch. Line drive, there it is! Into left field! Hit number 3,000! A run is scored! Busey around first! On his way to second with a double! Holy cow, he came through! When Musio retired, I cried in every ballpark in the National League, every place they went, you know, in the last trip in, they honored Musio. I cried. He didn't cry. Musio didn't cry, but I cried. You know, when you, you, when you used to hear about this guy, you say, well, uh, it can't be true. Then when you meet him, you say, it's an act. And then when you watch it and watch it and watch it and watch him perform, and then after he quit the way he deports himself, you say, it's amazing. He's, uh, he's one of them. He's one of a kind. And then you look at the record book and see what he did. You see where he came from, you know, offensively. You say that they won't, they won't make him like that anymore. The pitch to Mealfield. A hot shot on the ground in the right field of base hit. He's going around third. Here's a no throw. The Cardinals lead. One to nothing. Listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd. Let's see now. Manager Johnny Keene is talking to Gary Cole. Stan is at first base. He might be waiting for this applause on the hip to die down. They'll tear the joint apart when he trots off the field. Who's that playing peekaboo, standing slim and tall? Blasting shots into the blue, blind drives off the wall. What's his name, that batter who stands there with that winning smile? He unwinds and follows through, hits the ball a country mile. It's Stan the Man. Stan Musial played in 24 All-Star games. No one has ever played in more. In 1955, in his 12th Midsummer Classic, Musial led off the 12th inning with the game tied at 5 in Milwaukee and promptly ended the affair with one swing. And there it goes, a home run over the right field screen. The National League wins 6-5. to five. Musial's six career All-Star homers are the most ever. Stan Musial. His brilliance could come in blinding bursts, hitting five home runs in a single day's doubleheader, leading the league in singles, doubles, triples, and RBIs over a single season, worthy of one of the greatest nicknames in sports, Stan the Man. Stan matched his hustle with humility. He retired with 17 records even as he missed a season in his prime to serve his country in the Navy. Stan remains to this day an icon, untarnished, a beloved pillar of the community, a gentleman you'd want your kids to emulate. Now the batter is Musial. Stan flied to left his first time. There's a drive by Musial. It's going to be a home run. He has been called one of the greatest players to play the game, a role model for players and fans alike. While his baseball accomplishments are legendary, it is who he has been off the playing field in a life humbly lived in service to others that have made him truly extraordinary. A 24-time All-Star, a Hall of Famer, and the heart and soul of Cardinal baseball. Stan, the man, Musial. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Cardinals take part in their 19th World Series, this will be the first time since 1942 that the Cardinals will be without the man who epitomized the Cardinal way. Stan played in four World Series and served as the general manager for the 1967 Cardinals team that beat the Red Sox in the World Series. And since then, he has been a significant presence as Cardinals teams have made their runs through postseason baseball, appearing at each of the Cardinals' last seven World Series. Tonight, as we did on opening day, we recognize the greatest Cardinal in the history of the organization, Stan, the man, Musial.